Khan Badshah is a typically quiet and sleepy village some 22 kilometers outside Khairpur in the southern Sindh province of Pakistan. <laughs> The village gets its name from Adam Sultan, a Sufi saint who was a disciple of famous saint Lal Shabazz Kalandar. There is nothing much to talk about this little, almost unheard village in the barren area, hidden among dry and rugged mountains and deprived of even basic facilities. Life is hard here, with little work opportunities for nearby villagers. Majority of them sweat in the punishing heat all day long, hammering stones from the mountains, which are sold to construction companies. The average pay for this back-breaking work is less than $4 a day. Living in extreme poverty unimaginable to urban residents, People here struggle to put up even a decent meal in weeks. Most residents are illiterate and usually the entire family, including young children, labor to make ends meet. But the misery of these disadvantages and overlooked people is hidden from the eyes of the outside world and in most cases forgotten in minds. In these destitute circumstances, education is often considered a luxury rather than a necessity. Government-run schools do exist, but are mostly non-functional and remain in deplorable state, giving birth to the haunting term, co-schools. The whole area और उस जरूरत के मुताबिक जो है यहां पर स्कूल यानी समझे कि स्कूल था ही नहीं और यह قوم बिल्कुल ला इल्म थी जाहिल थी With its promise to help the poorest of the poor and realizing that education is the biggest catalysis of change Medics International have been shouldering the dismal standards of education in Pakistan, Iraq, India and many other countries for the past 25 years. Actually the reason why if you see into this, these are the very poor the poor people in Pakistan and they don't have an opportunity of the very basic things in life, education, water, electricity etc etc. So unless they have not been educated they will continue and they for the children will continue doing the same kind of thing and they are remain illiterate for the rest of their lives. Making locals realize the importance of education, Medics International joined hands with Friends of Education Foundation to establish Ali Model School some three years back. And today, it's a thriving setup with 150 plus students studying from playgroups till the primary grades. उनको इल्म की अहमियत ही नहीं थी ना उन्हें मालूम नहीं था कि सूरत हाल क्या है वो तरजीह देते हैं इस बात पर कि एक बच्चा हमारा मजदूरी करे और मजदूरी करके 2 रुपए लेकर आ जाए लेकिन अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह जिस वक्त ये सूरत हाल पैदा हुई और हमने ये काम शुरू किया तो अब तो एक इलाके में खुशी की लहर दौड़ गई है कि मासूम बच्चे जो है माशाल्लाह पढ़ रहे हैं इट्स अ मॉडर्न सेटअप विद नथिंग मच टू टॉक अबाउट विद द डेडिकेटेड स्टाफ वर्क हार्ड टू प्रोवाइड क्वालिटी एजुकेशन विद अ लिटिल रिसोर्स एट हैंड स्लोली एंड पेनस्टेकिंगली this school is taking small steps toward achieving a much bigger goal. Cut off from the outside world, none of these children have even enjoyed a car ride. 
coming to this school is a life altering experience for them and they too are in no mood to let this chance slip through their fingertips. Apart from free education, students here are provided with uniform, backpacks, water bottles, books and stationery. One of the toughest tasks for the school administration is to provide clean drinking water to its students. The lake water nearby is only fit for animal use. Its quality, perhaps not many of you watching would prefer to have a drink from it. As the lake water here has high quantities of bacteria, iron, salt, sulphate and fluoride, Friends of Education Foundation with help from Medics International solved this problem by installing reverse osmosis plant that runs on solar energy and purify water for human use. First thing which it put us here was actually their water standard. The water which they are drinking was mixed with uh, uh, 5,700 bacteria. That put us to this place and we put on an Aru plant later in, uh, with the solar plant as well. Being a healthcare organization, Medics International understands the importance of good nutrition for body development. A new president was set by providing students with snacks and meals each day after classes. The Free Food Initiative has an immediate impact with the school seeing a remarkable raise in attendance as well as learning interest. जैसे ये मुख्तलिफ बच्चों की लाइक्स हैं कोई कह रहा है कि हमें बिरयानी चाहिए जब वो देखते हैं कि वो उनकी जो भी फरमाइश है वो पूरी हो रही है तो उनकी वो जो अटेंडेंस की रेशो दिन 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 ब दिन बढ़ता जा रहा While the students at Ali Model School keep demonstrating great learning and development skills it's their untiring love for sports that makes going to school even more fun Small towns like these have a history of producing world-class athletes. Who knows what might be the making here. This might appear modest, but it's the first step toward explaining the importance of education to the locals and bringing discipline to the lives of the children. Mohammed Nawaz, who has lived a tough life laboring in the mountains, is sending his children to schools. Our goal is to become a teacher, a doctor, a doctor, a doctor, a doctor. This is our goal. Inshallah, we will study our children. We will not study our children. We will study our children. We will study our children. In these depressing surroundings, this humble setup by Medics International is the only thing that gives the overlooked residents of Sultan Bacha a reason to dream for a better future. <laughs> Despite the daunting challenges that marks their lives, villagers like Mohammed Nawaz are thankful to Medics International for establishing a school in this remote area and are hopeful that their children would not see the hardship he had to go through. मदद करेंगे वो शुक्रिया दाव सिखा क्यों न करें वो हमारे मदद करते हैं हमारे को बच्चे को पढ़ाते हैं फंड देते हैं जॉब देते हैं और इस कॉल के जूनी फार्म देते हैं को चौल दीवार देते हैं इस पताल दे हमारे के तो मदद ही है नहीं
But the journey is far from over as the awareness for education grows and more parents starting to send their kids to school, this three-room setup is a bearing cramp for the ambitious dream. This is also a medical challenge that there is a system that is a clinic, no doctor, no thing is here. If there is a child, a child, a child, a child, then go to the city or sit here. And for the city, there is no need to go to the city. By helping run this school, People at Medics International and generous donors like you are not changing lives but telling the poor and neglected they are not alone. There are those who cares for them and are extending their hands to live their hopes. Thank you for always being there with us but most importantly with them.